Hi, right, Casey Young again with the Wilbur Ellis Company. I believe this is our fourth series in our Michigan apple production. Where, as you can see here, we're in the middle of bloom, um, full bloom, in this apple orchard outside of Sparta, Michigan. Today, I want to talk about a few different things: uh, the bloom, what were the diseases we're trying to control there, this new vegetative growth as these trees are starting to grow, and how we want to handle that. We'll talk about uh, what insect control is and the fact the. Uh, the orchard has recently been invaded by thousands or hundreds of thousands of insects. We'll talk about those here in a few minutes. So again, I'm Case Young with the Wilbur Ellis Company in Sparta, Michigan. We're in full bloom. This is a block of Ida Reds. We've been in this block several times before. We want to point out here is where we're starting to get some vegetative growth here. This boar shoot starting to come out. Brand new uh, growth. Going to have a lot of new vegetation, a real tender leaf, susceptible to Oh, a lot of diseases, scab, mildew. This is where we're going to start seeing powdery mildew if it shows up. Depending on the temperatures this time of year, we can move through this phase. You know, we get a petal fall, this king bloom here. These petals can start dropping off any time. We'll start showing some of that here shortly. But you can see with the pollen here and this one, a little fresh and yellow, pretty new. This one's been out here probably since last week. And you'll actually start seeing once we get the leaves off here. This is, this is the part that's going to be the apple here in another week or so. This all starts looking like this. But So pretty exciting time, uh, certainly a beautiful time in the orchard. Uh, you can smell the, the fragrance of the bloom. Um, one of the problems it causes for a commercial orchard guy, uh, grower, is that uh, when this blooms open like this, we're susceptible to fire blight. And in this, it's a bacteria. And in this part of the world, in this, this orchard particularly, we have a lot of uh, resistance to the normal bacteria size we'd run, so you got to be kind of vigilant um, and use several different combinations and rotate those and be ahead of any wetting period because with the warm temperature we're having, open bloom, we've had a lot um, enough bacteria buildup in the orchard. So if we get a wetting event, even something as light as a as a dew, we could get fire blight infection in here. So cover the diseases. Now we want to go over and. Uh, run a little clip here of uh, this invasion of insects. This is pretty impressive. So our uh, invasion of the insects here was not totally unplanned nor unprepared for. Obviously this is something we need to have out in an apple orchard. We've got clips here where we'll show you the bees working the pollinizers and then working the, the flowers on the apple trees. Uh, like Hundreds of thousands of bees per hive out here trying to visit all these flowers. You can't hear it so much here with this microphone but as you're standing here you can hear the hum of the, of the bees flying around and really s smell that fragrance of those blooms. So beautiful time to be in an apple orchard and it's a beautiful day in Michigan. Well, let's talk about how green the bloom is and you say, well, okay, green, what do you mean? So we've got a lot of green leaves in here, a lot of flowers coming out, but as you look across the orchard, you'll see some of the stuff, you'll see a, this, it's got a green and white appearance. A lot of times we'll get a real heavy bloom, it'll be white, and sometimes so white you'll call it a snowball bloom, but in this case, we're talking about this being a green bloom. We, a number of factors go into this. The farmer uh, does a post-harvest foliar application of nutrients to get that tree ready for the overwintering and then so it can take off in the spring and really get going. And that, this exam, um, shown right here with I mean, this, all this green growth, this lush, nice leaves. The, uh, also, the tree wasn't really stressed too hard last year. We got just a little bit later than this last year and had a big frost and took out probably 60% of the apple crop. Uh, in this area. So it was a pretty light crop on here. The tree didn't have to work too hard to support that crop. And then we went back in, in the fall and made some foliar applications of, again, this more leaf B33. Try to bulk this tree up, get it ready for the winter time, help it in the springtime when it gets for a little frost protection, gives it some zinc and boron, makes this pollen a little healthier, and kind of hope establish that we'll, uh, when these bees are in here working, we can get a good uh, fruit set. So let's wrap up this series, this fourth in our series of our Michigan Apple segment. Uh, we're going to run a little uh, modified slideshow in the background here of the different growth stages we're at up to date. So in this segment we covered the growth stage was basically full bloom of our apple trees. Beautiful time of year to be out in the orchard. We had a beautiful day. Uh, very fragrant, that bloom, the blossoms smelling, you can smell the pollen. The bees working in the background, and there's a couple of clips of those, and you can see the pollen building up on the bees and um, how important that is to apple production anywhere in the world but particularly here and then uh, basically to kind of round up uh, covering some of the diseases the uh, primary driver of which at this point in time is fire blight so we can kind of 
I want to make sure we can keep that out of the orchard and keep that trees alive. So wrapping up the segment, I'm Case DeYoung with the Wilbur Ellis Company in Sparta, Michigan.